Hello, hello, guys. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Hi, Brandon and Leah. Hi, Marissa. Jesse's just doing the finishing touches on bedtime. <laughs> Nice. Fantastic. I like the trees. I love the trees. Yes, Christmas trees. <laughs> Christmas trees in the background all around. Perfect. Okay. Hello. Here's Jesse. Oh, Jesse. Oh, the rest of them are sitting here. I thought I was just talking from here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> kick off soon. Nathan, come on, please. Uh, I think that's a good spot for Nathan back there. No, that's, <laughs> yeah. good. that's good. Okay, well, thank you guys for joining us. This is going to be our first ever flip the mic. And so I want to give a special thank you to the gentlemen that are joining us that stepped up and said yes, that they would join us and be put on the spot for this call. So we have people, if you are hopping on, I would love for you to just write in the chat where you're joining us. East Coast. But, um, we are recording. So for those of you watching the replay from the East Coast, welcome. We're really glad that you're joining us and watching us on the replay, because I know it's late there. <laughs> you guys are probably watching this another day. So thank you. Um, oh, I'm cutting out. Okay. Shoot. Is this better? Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Yeah. But it's funny because like your face, out. your face was frozen, but we could still hear you talking. <laughs> oh, weird. Okay. Hopefully that's a good freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> that happens again that chat was perfect hopping on and joining us make sure to where you're joining us from and welcome <laughs> wyoming that's awesome welcome katie <laughs> that's awesome that's all different time zone so you're up later so i just wanted to start with we have marissa and her husband nathan i almost said brian and her husband elise elise and her husband brian and this is my husband jesse <laughs> And I'll start with an introduction. My name is Kelly Enfield. I've been with Saya for three years now, almost to the day. Um, and it has been an incredible ride. And this is my husband, Jesse. He's self-employed. We have two boys, seven and three. I homeschool and Jesse travels and does some sort of IT <laughs> tech stuff, <laughs> fancy tech stuff. So um, we live in Spokane, Washington. We are born and raised in Washington and love it. Um, so that is a little bit about us. So I will turn it over. Marissa, will you give a brief introduction of you and Nathan? Oh, yep. mute. <laughs> <I'm> mute. <laughs> we'll try that again. <laughs> as Kelly said, I'm Marissa. I've been with Zaya for almost two years. I also um, work full time as a corrections officer for the past almost 14 in January. And we have a five year old. Um, and we just keep busy. He's almost five. I mean, I keep saying he's five, but he's almost five. Um, and then this is my husband, Nathan. He is a physical therapist assistant. Um, been doing that now five years. Almost five. Almost five years. <laughs> Um, and both love fitness and we both um, pretty much born and raised in Spokane. He was born in Tri-Cities, but came here really soon afterwards. So we love it here. <laughs> and I can't grow a beard as awesome as Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a little shaggy. It needs to get I like know, that. but Nathan, you got the good, you got the good dress going. Yeah. We <laughs> swapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swapped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. All right, Brian and Elise, let's um, hear a little bit about you guys. Um, so my name is Elise and this is my husband, Brian. Um, I've been with Zaya for almost a year and a half. Um, we have recently moved back to Spokane in August, so we we're excited to be back. Um, we're both teachers and we have three girls. A uh, fifth grader, a first grader, and a preschooler, so they keep us busy, and yeah, yes, they do. life I, is good. I also cannot grow a beard like <laughs> Jesse. Uh, 
Oh yeah, do the trade off. It's good times. <laughs> I try. We got one. We got one of the two. <laughs> one or the other, right? I know. I knew there would be a comment about this. <laughs> said. As there should be. It's legit. It's legit. It's legit. It is. <laughs> All right. Well, um, for those of you just joining again, thank you. We wanted to do this as an opportunity because we know this business thrives really well when people have support of spouses or family. Um, but if you don't have that too, know that our greater team of Zaya Fire is an incredible support system and we are there to support you. But we wanted to also give honor and just hear the stories of how the men have been on this, this journey progress. Maybe some of them with this. So um, yeah, if you're, where you're joining from, we're so glad you're here. Um, I'm gonna start with Brian and Elise. Um, so you guys are familiar with network marketing. You've been in this arena before. Brian, what was your first reaction when Elise kind of approached you about a new? Yes. So you just FYI, you are cutting out a little bit, and Kelly, oh, nice. but hey, okay, I'm back. And I've I got don't know what question. happened. You're good. You're good. We're still kind of hearing it, but um, just to kind of restate the question, Elise, we've been doing this a uh, couple other um, network marketing businesses. What was my first reaction when Elise said, hey, I want to do Zaya? Um, I guess really for me, it was, okay, if you want to do this, like I'm on board, but have we thought about it? You know, what are, what are the pros and the cons? Because having been a part of several other businesses, know that it's not just easy money and it's going to be all rainbows and butterflies. There's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. And typically it's a another job. It's not like you're quitting your full-time job and just starting Zaya. You're trying to do this in the pockets of your time. And when you have three kids and you've got, you know, a husband, right? You got to take care of this guy too. Um, trying to do things in the pocket, it can be a little difficult. So that was my first reaction was, hey, like, yes, we can totally do this, but what, um, is this something you want to stick with? Was kind of, was that, was that beginning reaction? Um, yes. Awesome. Yeah, that was a great answer. And Brian, I know that you're just really supportive of whatever Elise and you trust in, in her gut feeling around that. Yes. So how has this, how, yes, good answer. How have you seen this? How has it been different from previous? Like what have you noticed has been different this time around? Recording in yep. progress. <laughs> it's recording. Yes. Uh, so I think Initially, just like the other businesses, there's that initial excitement that, that comes up, but then the hard work that goes in as well, really, you know, you can tell on the businesses that you don't have the passion for, they, um, you kind of dwindle, like you're just like, ah, you start finding excuses not to, to jump into the business, not to maybe do that extra, go that extra mile. And what I noticed with the Elise on this one is one, having had some experience starting and stopping some other businesses, she started slow and steady and really protected her time. Um, and, and she's been doing this for about a year and a half. And, and every like kind of next step has been really thoughtful, which for me, again, as being the partner and getting to manage like, all right, if you're doing lives at night, um, I'm on, on kid duty or I'm doing the, you know, like doing the major cleanup or whatever it is, like, as long as that communication's there. Whereas in the past, sometimes it's been one of those like, oh, we're doing this, 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 this. And you just feel like you have no control over the over what's going on. So I think with this, what's been different is again, just a lot of really good, um, good thought out smart steps that have one, been successful for us as a family and two has really helped grow her business and helps her manage kind of just all of the things that she gets to do. Awesome, thank you. That is, yes. Great response and it does. I always say that it feels like a dance with Jesse and I. Like, okay, we're tag teaming. Like, okay, you're on. I'm I'm gonna go send this email and then dance and, and vice versa. As we're both kind of home-based businesses, I always kind of refer to it as a dance with totally. managing and households. And yes. Um, so what have you noticed in Elise since I know I I can ask this question because I know what I've seen. Yeah. And we're Elise on the spot, she's probably gonna blush. But what have you <laughs> what have you noticed in Elise since her starting her Zaya journey until now? 
Yeah, just uh, again, as I kind of mentioned earlier in the, in the previous response is just to share her excitement has improved, you know, her passion. Um, we all like to wear clothes for the most part, you know, there are, you know times and situations where maybe not, but, um, and so learning about, right, there's no little kids on this. I apologize if your children are watching. Um, there's just, Again, as she's gotten to know the products, as she's gotten to know her team, um, so not just uh, her Zaya Fire team, but also all of her gals and maybe one or two dudes that are in her VIP group. It's just been so fun. To, uh, we're driving, you know, just this last Thanksgiving, we're driving and she's on the phone with one of her gals, just like connecting, making sure everything's going well with that order. And um, so it's just been really fun to watch her go from, I, I want to do this, I think, to really competently making some really cool changes to her business, really driving forward with her business. Um, and again, bringing me in as she can. And I'm like, yay, I get to you know, wear cool clothes and uh, talk to cameras, <laughs> which I'm okay with. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's her business and she's really taking full ownership of it. So it's been, that's been, I guess, the really fun thing to watch over the last year and a half. Awesome. It is always fun to, to watch as you can see someone bloom into all the potential that you know is there and tap into them and find that passion. Um, so you got an inside peek into one of our Zaya Fire retreats, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, on one of our Zaya Fire along with some of the other husbands, but he got an inside peek. So I would love to know, just tell me about your experience, what you noticed. Um, yeah, I would just love to hear your experience. <laughs> well, I think it ties obviously into the kind of the theme of, of this video call is one, there was a ton of ladies and not a ton of guys. Um, you know, there were, I got to meet, I think one, maybe I got to meet two husbands out of like the hundred people that I met there, um, which again, was great to see, to meet them. Uh, but at the same time, it was one of those like, okay, there's so much energy and enthusiasm here. Um, and again, if you have somebody that's walking with you in that, um, and they can be a part of that, then they can really see a little bit of that extra side, right? You've got, again, in our household, we see all the hard work. We see the time on the phone. We see, you know, the time on the live camera, the door's shut and the cheery voice in the back bedroom or in the office, that kind of a thing. We see those um, and we're like applauding those and that's great. But it's also, I thought it was really fun just to see the team energy that my wife is a part of. Like this is unique to her. It's not my team, right? I'm kind of an extension. I got to go hang out in Arizona for a couple of days, which was fun. Meet some new friends by the pool. But um, <laughs> it was just really fun to see that like Zaya Fire is on fire and they love each other. They support each other. They encourage each other. They push each other. Um, so that was, again, it was just again, a cool, really cool experience. If there's any other guys watching, Jesse, Nathan, if you can. Florida, you can. Florida. Florida wow. that's right. If you can, when you can, just do it. It's, it's a really, it's a good time again to, to connect with your significant other in an environment that's all theirs. And you're really just kind of on the outside watching. And again, so again, really fun, fun time to do. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that experience, Brian. Brian got, we were doing a fun scavenger hunt and he was out by the pool. And so each group came by and Brian got to be like in this like picture taking it as, as he was <laughs> as he was talking to like this old couple from he was just schmoozing with his old couple it was very fun it was very great fun. he actually and, and i'm just kidding i won't go into details but yes <laughs> we're best friends now. well thanks for sharing brian any last thoughts or takeaways i think you covered it it all but yeah. no. thank you no i'll pass it on pass the torch thank you so much kelly for this opportunity okay marissa and nathan actually see okay nathan well, Hello, hello, thanks for joining us. So you guys are kind of from the opposite. So Marissa probably brought this up to you. And what was your view on network marketing, direct sales, this type of business? What was your view of it when she approached you about it? Uh, when, stop it. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I'm waiting for Nate. <laughs> Okay. Um, no, but seriously, serious. when that I had to tell him like fourteen times, I'm like, "Can you please be like serious?" <laughs> serious? You can. You can. We know Nathan. You can put in some jokes. Um, when uh, when Marissa first approached me with it, um, the network marketing, um, I was 
Oh, geez. I, I never been on these before. Um, I thought um, I've been, I've had bad experiences with them, more not with me doing them, more of the uh, Amway kind of, uh, that's what I thought of it is, is Amway and uh, those type of things, working in a hotel that a lot of those companies would come through and how, um, they would talk to you. I've gone to a couple of their retreat things where they I get drug into and um, it wasn't a good experience for me. So I was just more in the caution side of uh, when, when Marissa first approached me with it, just more like, you know, what, what is it? What's the product? Um, is the product something that's sellable or wearable in this case? Um, is it junk? Um, because I know a lot of the other, some of the other companies, we won't, I guess I already named some of the names. But, <laughs> uh, they're just, they just, they're junk products or they're just rebranded, uh, you know, bottled of, bottled of waters. And I don't feel like they're anything special. Um, so I was more on the like little bit more like hesitant side, but at the same time, um, I'm very supportive of Marissa. So I said, well, if you, you know, if you want to do it, well, let's all help you invest in it or help you get started on it. And we'll kind of see where it goes. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing that. Cause I know that so many other spouses and even women like are in the same boat and have some of the same feelings. And so I love that you, just said like, this is how, this is my hesitation because I know so many people are in the same boat as you. And so I remember that conversation with Marissa and Marissa's like, okay, Nathan's gonna help me start this. Like he's in support and we're doing this. And I remember just her excitement of that support from you. And so that um, it's just, it was a really neat memory to, to think back on. So what have you noticed in Marissa since starting her Zaya journey? Um, it, it, it's, it's been pretty cool. She, you know, first started with more of the getting the discount and I'm, you know, I got a one free shirt out of the whatever deal that she got and it was <laughs> a shirt and, uh, I liked it. It was, I got compliments at work, but anyways, um, it, it's more the, um, the, I think the community and like more of like the friends that she's made and kind of the connections that she's made, um, that was pretty impressive to me. Um, it really didn't seem like um, a cutthroat kind of who can sell the most kind of thing. It was more like, you know, it's uh, like I tell people now, it's, it's just a bunch of girls that get together and sell clothes and drink wine. <laughs> and so um, I think it's, I think it's, it was really cool. It's really cool to see. Yeah, that's a really great perspective. I, I know Marissa said from the beginning, I am just going to get the discount. And then like, she's <laughs> just like sore the entire way. There's no, no turning back. So she has just blown me away with her consistency and dedication to the business and customers. And I think you see the same of her dedication to that. So what would you say to a spouse or significant other who maybe is in the same boat as you were, who's on the fence, who's not sure about their support level in this, what would you say to them? Um, I would, I would say that it, it's definitely worth a try, especially if you are the type that can like, if you have a, uh, like a market or like you have access to let's say you are a volleyball coach or you are just involved in fitness or you're involved in something that you can actually do something with the clothes or you can somehow you know promote them in some way like in her case she wears them and then she she dresses me up in it all the time and I have to wear it to work um but I I would say it's it is definitely a good um, it's been a good experience. Um, I do think that it was, for me, honestly, it was tough on the, um, I guess, more of the social media side for me that I didn't understand, because I guess it is all social media and that kind of stuff that helps sell it. Um, so it took me a while to finally understand that piece of it. Um, but, uh, 
I think, yeah, I think, I think it was, it's definitely worth, uh, you know, getting into. And then again, if you're, if you're involved in it and you're passionate about it, you can do well with it. Um, and it is, I mean, it seems like her and all her friends have a blast with it. And the few events that I've been invited to um, are awesome. And they're a lot of fun. I didn't get to go to Mexico though. So. <laughs> Someone else did. <laughs> We already went. <laughs> so Marissa, I'm going to put you on the spot. So say that there's maybe a woman um, and her spouse isn't, isn't supporting her um, and just isn't quite there yet. What would you, what would you say to her? What would you recommend? Or what, how would you, what would you say to that? Um. Well, I would probably just share my story with my husband kind of being hesitant with it and the direct sales. And then I'd probably share some resources like this video or like the other video they've had before with the husbands that they did. Um, and just, you know, tell her to really just sit down and have a conversation about it. And like, if, you know, if it's, he's not there, then I'd say, you know, maybe it's not the time. I mean, if, or, you know, if, I, I don't know if I necessarily would say like, I mean, do what you want to do. I mean, obviously they're going to do what they want, but you always want to have your spouse's support no matter what. And I think if he's like, okay, maybe. And then I would, I would say, go for it and just surprise the heck out of him. Cause <laughs> it definitely will. So yeah. That's what I just paid for, for you. Right. Yeah. Well, and more just go for it and see what happens with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not you like you're investing, lose? you know, <laughs> a ton into it. It's like you get these, you get this okay. product mm -hmm. and the product is awesome. Um, right. you know. Yeah. I mean, what do you have to lose? Yeah. You yeah, get yeah like, like, and if, you, if it doesn't work out, then, oh, you got some yeah. clothes. Like, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think everyone would be surprised at yeah with this so yeah that's thanks for addressing that because I think that's so true and I I think we worry about having that support system but I think one of the things that has surprised me about this community is just people's willingness to support one another um so if you're not feeling that like emotional support from your spouse if they're like yeah go for it but know that you still have the support of an incredible team like we are here to help you succeed and to help you with all the resources. Like you are not alone in this. So thank you, Marissa yeah. and yeah. Nathan for sharing. You guys are Did I just okay. Working. I answered your questions, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Did you have anything else to add? No, I don't think so. And I think the best part, like you were saying, like we help each other. It's not a competition. It doesn't matter if you're upline, downline, sidelines, other teams, like everyone is so helpful like we're not competing against anyone <laughs> yeah yeah it's been really yeah i would totally agree with that mm -hmm. yeah so we i have one question to kind of turn over to my husband jesse um so jesse out of the two of us he is the business mind i am the like let's go for it let's do it and he's like wait 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 i got my business mind here let's let's really think about this so what are some questions that you hesitated on we still have a kid that's up. Yeah. We always have a kid that's up. <laughs> we always have a kid that's up. <laughs> and what are your thoughts kind of looking back now onto this journey? Yeah. So I am um, definitely a devil's advocate that's more realistic. Um, but I also like to think that I'm positive at the outlook of things. Um, we have also done a network marketing before with Brian and Elise with uh, another product. And it's a great product. We still use it mm -hmm. um, in our lifestyle, but I also, um, it was a lot of work just to get people to want it and use it and maintain that. And um, there was more expectation of what that company had for you to keep getting paid and the pay just wasn't even comparable. So um, again, great product, nothing bad to say about that, but Kelly put in a lot of work for a lot less money. Um, a compensation so plan matters. The compensation yeah. plan matters and the, and the company matters. Right. Um, I, or, I is still pretty young, so it mm -hmm. helps that um, 
to get in when it's younger. Uh, I think that's a big benefit in these companies. But uh, yeah, so I just had questions when she, when Erica had called her and she's like, waited a whole nother year. And I don't know why we waited a year. I don't know if it was me or her. I think it was Kelly. But um, the second time I was kind of like, yeah, I mean, and so I had my list of questions. Um, and some of those we'll touch on. And it was just kind of like, obviously, what's the cost? Um, how much time is going to take out of your day? We have kids, um, your stay at home. Obviously, the kids take out more than there's obviously anybody has kids know that it's not just stay at home. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more that gets done. Um, is there a minimum that we have to hit for you to actually make money or stay active or things like that? Do we have to keep inventory? Because mm -hmm. I don't want to keep inventory, <laughs> especially of clothes in different sizes and colors and everything. Um, well expenses what do we have to pay what do we do how does that look um what is the potential income is obviously a large one um returns it's online close there's going to be returns mm -hmm. are you doing that who's doing that mm -hmm. and then um i learned some things through the process as the other guys have touched on but um to kind of go through the cost in my mind was actually a bargain because for her it goes one ninety nine at the time, but now it's two ninety five. But you get more stuff. You get a hundred dollar gift card. I didn't get the hundred dollar gift card. <laughs> yeah. So in in really at reality, you're just getting like Nathan said, you're buying clothes. Yeah. Like you're not buying a business. You're not buying anything. You're buying clothes, yeah. which is huge. Um, then you get your website, but and then you get a web. Well, that's beyond yeah. that. That comes as part of your thing. Um, I also think it's like some of the people that I know have signed up have done it through hosting a party. And then they don't even pay the whole 295. They're paying less than that and still getting all the benefits. So I think um, the initial cost is really shouldn't be an issue. Um, plus, anybody that has a wife or girlfriend, they they look fantastic in the clothes. So <laughs> can't argue about that one. Um, time that it takes was a huge one to me, and it still often is something that we're kind of like, what do we do? Um, and it's really one of those that you get what you put in. Yeah, is that something where is five hours enough a week? It totally could be. Is 60 hours enough a week? It totally could be. Depends on who you are and what your priorities in life are at that stage in life. Mm -hmm. And right now, Kelly puts in a lot. Um, definitely not 60 hours, but it's um, it's definitely a time in her day mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Um, as Brian said, just those routines and the nighttime calls and things like that, that um, I think fitting those in so that she can have her 15, 30 minute chunks here and there um is helpful um so again there's definitely the amount of work you put in um is always part of it. and that's with my work too i mean i i think every job is that way that you get paid off of what you do um if you're not just hourly you're gonna have to put in some work mm -hmm. um but you can totally have a family you can have another job as all of you all the other guys and ladies do um definitely something you can um, you don't have to hit a minimum, which is huge with, and we don't have to order a minimum with the other product we were selling. We had to order a minimum we had to keep a minimum going. Um, and that was just hard. Um, you have expectations from everybody that you're buying from as well as yourself and it gets expensive and this you're buying stuff, but it's clothes that you wear, clothes that you can sell. Um, there's no uh, minimum, I think it's uh, 300 every six months, yeah, which, which is, is, I can spend 300 easy. every six months. So, very easy. Uh, yes. Totally. And that's by her, by other people. I buy myself clothes. I mean, that's like six yeah. things in six months yeah. for her, her or other people. Anyone else. Very yeah. easy to reach. Um, and that keeps your website active. There's no inventory. No inventory. <laughs> I actually keep inventory for my business. Not a lot, but I yeah. keep some. And it is a nightmare. Yeah. Um, you have to pay taxes on it. You have to do everything with it. Um, and with clothes, it would be even more of a nightmare. So I, that's, so we don't ship anything out. We don't, we don't ship you. Yeah. Kelly does every now and then she'll order it and have it brought here. And then she yeah. ships it, which is a great way to do it. It's personal. It um, gives that extra touch, but that's not ever an expectation from Zaya. It's not bringing up our whole garage. Yeah. No, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. We have a whole extra building for my work. Um, <laughs> potential income. And expenses. Um, again, there's really not, there doesn't have to be any expenses. Mm -hmm. We choose to do some things for customers and clients, but uh, our Kelly chooses. She's also mm -hmm. chosen to do some business development classes. Mm -hmm. um, really, these are things that I think are, if anything, building her up to as a human being. Um, I think any develop, personal development or business development classes 
are worth the cost. Mm -hmm. um, so it's things like that that we've gotten to do that we wouldn't have before. Yeah. Um, and that goes into kind of the income. The income in network marketing, they always say earn five, 10, 15, $20,000 or beyond. <laughs> Six figures, <laughs> yeah. it's always. Yes, it is doable. Is it likely? No. Um, let's be realistic. So I was talking to Kelly a little bit, and it's kind of one of those things where it's awesome if you can get to the point and very doable to reach the point and stay there to cover that car payment or to pay for that private school class or the preschool or uh, a business development class or that you want to do um, something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Save up for vacation. Um, it is attainable to get to the 500,000, maybe even 2000 on a regular basis um, and, beyond. and beyond, but and beyond. Um, I don't think it takes a long time to get there from what we've witnessed in her team. Yeah. Um, and again, you're paying $300 for a bunch of clothes and then you're six, 12 months later, you're making 500 or a thousand dollars. So it, it averages out pretty quick. Um, and that's been our experience with multiple people on her team. Yeah. Again, not everybody, but, um, definitely. There. Uh, the last <laughs> one is, uh, I didn't know you gave me time. <laughs> I gave him time. Uh, returns that she processes it, but they take care of the rest. She sends yeah. a label to the buyer and they send it back. And then again, I think just echoing what all the guys said, really what I've witnessed that came out of it is just priceless. It's the friendships, the team, um, adult fellowship. She gets to go to team events with the ladies, which I think is awesome. Uh, maybe someday I'll get to go. Um, we get free clothes. I mean, I get clothes, she gets clothes, the boys get clothes, we all get clothes um, awesome. for free or discounted. And um, yeah, I just don't think that there's really any loss to it. And I would just say, if you're on the fence or your husband's on the fence, find $300 or host a party and get it discounted and just do it because there's really no loss. You get clothes and they're really good for the price and even beyond the price. Um, so I say, just go for it. Just go for it. You heard it. So we're wrapping up tonight. I just wanted to thank you guys and thank the men for one, their support and for being willing to jump on here, being vulnerable, sharing your story and your hesitations. Um, and just thank you guys for your support through this. Um, we are so glad that you joined us tonight. And if you have any burning questions, do not hesitate to reach out to one of us or whoever invited you to this call. Um, and we are happy to share more of our story. It's an open book. We don't want to hide anything um, from anyone. So we want to be an open book for you guys um, and be a resource for you. So thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for sharing your stories tonight and have a wonderful night. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye, bye guys. <laughs>